Hey there, it's been a while. Um, been sort of saving these clips off because um, on and off I've been tweaking around with this um, CNC 6040 that I bought off eBay recently and um, I've built an enclosure which is behind me. So, um, what I thought I'd do, I'd um, put a video together showing the actual build of the box and then we'll have a quick look around it now. As you can see, it's a garish colour of green, um, but this just happens to be the paint that I had available. Um, the wife chose this for the kitchen, but as soon as it touched the wall, she decided against it, which I um, fully support her decision. Um, so you can see here, now it's all um, encapsulated within this cabinet. Um, the seal's all the way round, and it's pretty much um, completely dust proof. Um, I've milled out quite a lot of um, stuff for the house over the past couple of days with this, um, mostly uh, MDF and that creates one hell of a lot of really fine dust and um, it all stayed within the machine. Now, um, at the moment I haven't got around to adding any vacuum um, or dust extraction to it, but that's coming um, hopefully, probably next year now, um, just because my funds seem to have been depleted by this, the combination of this and renovating the kitchen. So um, anyway, really happy with it. Keeps the noise down a lot, which is really good because previously when this was running, you couldn't be in the vicinity really unless you had ear protection in. Um, not so much how loud it is, just the pitch of it, it's absolutely piercing. But you can see here it fits nicely in. Um, in the bottom we've got the computer, the PC, on the right. Let's move this camera down a bit so you can see. Wink! Yunk, yunk, yuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuu
uh, quite cheap for sheets of this. I think I paid about £10 a sheet from a local, um, oh, I don't know what you call it, like a warehouse, um, timber merchants. Now, um, with this one, it's a mixture of um, glue, just regular cheap PVA, tacked together with a nail gun and then finished off with um, a couple of screws on each side. So you can see I'm just making the box frame. So this is just a full box um, that I've built with no doors or anything like that. And that'll make sense in a moment. Um, and it's just built to the same size of the frame. I didn't really start off with any plan for sizes on this. Just sort of went along and um, made sure that the footprint of the uh, CNC machine had actually fit into the, um, to the unit itself. So the bottom's done now. You can see I'm just put some casters on there as well. They were salvaged from some gastronom trolleys from a, um, a restaurant I used to work in when we were uh, scrapping some stuff and sending it to the merchants that took the wheels off. Going a bit dark now, but the box is done anyway. And you can see there it's all fitting on top of the, the unit underneath that's gonna hold the PC. They just saw me marking it all. Now I'm running along with the uh, circular saw. And you can see I've chopped the front off it and left a lip that's on the doors. Now just doing it that way allows me to basically, it's a bit easier if I make any mess ups in the actual shape of the unit, then it doesn't matter. I'm not gonna have to piss around making the doors fit because they're gonna fit anyway because I sawed them off once it was built. You can see there, I've just cut some slots in the sides and put some hinges on. Now, the reason I've done that is so that when the machine's in there, I'll be able to slot longer stock in, sort of the same way as you would with a, with a lathe when you can put it through the back of the actual chuck. Back into the garage, looking at the machine. So taking out all the cabling, and now I'm just using some shielded cable to wire up the machine. Now in this um, cable runner, the snake that runs to the machine, there's uh, two water hoses, so one going to and one return to the spindle, an air supply, and the three cables going up, which is a 18 American wire gauge thickness shielded cable that's gonna send the signals down to the um, down to the stepper motors. That stuff was quite hard to find until I discovered that it's just alarm cable. Oh, who's ringing me now? Oh, let's hang up on that. It's just American, uh, it was just um, alarm cabling. So nice and simple there. And that just prevents any sort of um, interference getting into the signals that are going up to the stepper motors. There's also, I put in uh, a run of 16 thin cables for anything I might add on at the end. 16 individual wires. Now there, just going back a bit there in the video, you can see that's the standard controller that comes with the unit. I chopped out a slot in the back that you can see there, and that was to fit the gecko into the back of it, the gecko drive. And I've taken it apart and ripped out everything apart from the VFD drive, so everything's gone, apart from the variable D controller, which controls the spindle. And I've replaced the power supply in there with a big 48 volt. Um, I can't remember what the amps were, but it was the biggest one I could purchase. It was about 40 pounds. And now I'm just wiring it all in. Very simple to wire in actually, just following the gecko guide that comes with it. And it all went in quite smoothly. I'd say it took about a day to wire up this box, but that's about it really. Right, anyway. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. Uh, the videos aren't coming out as much as I'd like to, but hopefully, um, I've changed my job recently, so hopefully I'll be able to get some more out um, pretty soon, and we'll be able to get on with showing you some of this, the setup of it. I'll show you the settings that I've used for it, and also um, the speeds and stuff, and the cuts and everything else, and we can show any other additions. So the, um, the vacuum that will be coming onto it, or the dust extraction, and the monitor on the front, um, and a few other bits and bobs um, I've got in the pipeline, such as um, the addition of a, a laser to engrave with it on. Um, and yeah, anyway, um, if you have any questions, make sure you ask, and I'll try and be helpful. And there we go. So yeah, see you later. Bye.